The chicks are four weeks old and they are learning the routine of how to move in the tractors. Uh, I'm going to take you along on my morning routine this morning and show you how well they're doing. Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. This is Kevin with Living Traditions Homestead and I just cannot believe how well these chicks are doing. Uh, they have now gotten the morning routine down. Uh, they know how to move with the tractors and uh, they are excited to get their food in the morning. So uh, I'm gonna take you along today as I do my morning chores with them, and then we're gonna pull a couple of them out, we're gonna weigh them, and we're gonna see how they're doing. So let me go grab their feeders, and I'll meet you over at the tractors. All right, so you can see, they're excited to see me with their food. So again, all we need to do is loosen up these tie downs. The first thing we'll do is take their water out. Just wait for them all to come to this end as they move. And there we go. They're all set. So we'll go down to this end and we'll give them their food. And what I like to do is after I put the food in, I just move this back a little bit to give them a little extra room and it puts the feeder a little further into the tractor. Now I just need to go fill up their water and I'll put that back in and this tractor will be done for the morning. Okay, so I've got their water bucket filled up and I wanted to show you just a little trick. I got a couple comments this last week about isn't it really heavy to lift the water bucket in? And the truth is, yeah, it is. I mean, five gallons of water weighs about 40 pounds. But let me show you a little trick to make it easier. What I do is I put their, their water pan in. Now, first of all, right now they're so preoccupied with food, there's no fear of them running out because they're just happy to be eating. Then what I do is I take their water kind of set it on the edge here and then you can just kind of use that to help roll it into the pan and that way you're not lifting up over the door you're just kind of rolling it down into the pan works really well and it saves on your back and your arms so that's it we'll put this back tighten these up And that's it. I mean, what they take? About five minutes of work. So you got five minutes of work in the morning, about five minutes of work in the evening, and you're done. I mean, this is an easy thing to do. Uh, that's it. I'm going to do the other tractor, then we're going to pull a couple out, and we're going to go over and weigh them. All right, I've got uh, one of the chicks. I'm going to try to do one from each tractor, and I tried to pick an average size one, not one of the real big ones, not one of the real small ones. So we get a pretty good average size. Let's see where this guy's at. Two pounds, nine ounces. So two and a half pounds. So uh, they're growing. Two and a half pounds, they're four weeks old. Let me go grab the next one. All right, I got the second one. Let's see where this guy's at. Two pounds, 10 ounces. So just about the same. So you know, if you were to... Uh, process a chicken like this right now, uh, you get about 70% of the weight uh, once it's processed. So a two and a half pound chicken would be about one and three quarters pounds 
once it's dressed. So just keep that in mind as we move along the next few weeks. You're going to lose about 30% of your live weight when you process them. Let me go put this guy back. All right, you guys. So that's it for uh, week four, or that they're four weeks old. You can see they're happy and healthy. Uh, they are active. They're growing. Uh, they're really enjoying being out in the tractors. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Uh, I'm trying to put together information each week that I think will help you. I think it'll help you make a decision about whether or not these are the right types of chickens for your homestead. Uh, we highly recommend them. Uh, we won't be switching to any other type of chicken anytime soon. So until next time, you guys, uh, before you leave, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And thanks for stopping by the homestead. God bless.